The violent arrest that led to the death of Tyree Nichols in Memphis, Tennessee, is sending shockwaves across the country. It has law enforcement here at home working to defend themselves, asking not to be defined or diminished by the heinous acts of others charged with serving and protecting. WDAY News reporter Nick Broadway joins us live tonight with the conversations the arrest is sparking within our own police departments. Nick. Dana, Kirsten, body cam and traffic camera footage showing the final moments of Tyree Nichols continue to spark protests and calls for action across the country. It even has law enforcement leaders in our area speaking out about what changes need to be made to keep something like this from happening again. Oh! Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh! Above and beyond criminal, it's, it's disgraceful and, and disgusting. Fargo Police Chief David Zabolski points out what he calls horrendous and criminal actions seen in a video from a nearby traffic cam showing the police beating of Nichols. And you can see uh, this guy being held down, being kicked in the head, then he's being stood up and held and being punched and hit with a baton. And, uh, and it, at no point was anyone trying to take him into lawful custody. This video sparked lots of conversations inside his own department among seasoned staff and new recruits. Zabulski says it starts with officers stepping in if they see fellow cops doing something wrong, something he's pushed since becoming chief a few years ago, adding that on several occasions without being able to name specific cases, he's already had to correct the mindset and behaviors of some of his own officers. We'll be able to train them and change their mindset or they, they um, kind of forfeit their opportunity to be a public servant. When asked, he says he doesn't think legislation can change the behavior of bad people, but does support the idea of grants to improve training for officers and supervisors around the country. He believes these issues stem from department leaders who don't actively try to prevent things like this from happening. And some places have some very deep-seated cultural norms. Five of the Memphis, Tennessee officers are facing charges for second-degree murder. And just in tonight, two more officers were let go along with three fire department workers. They're not facing any criminal charges as of tonight. Reporting live, Nick Broadway, WDAY News.